This is Chris from Build 5 Nines. Let's take a look at shutting down an Azure VM properly to save money. Here I have a virtual machine running. We can see the status is running. And if I scroll down, we can see this is a Windows Server 2016 data center VM. At the top of the portal here, we can see the restart and stop buttons that we could stop or restart this VM, but it is currently running. So let's go ahead and connect to it. I have that in a remote desktop session already open. And we'll see here it is Windows 7, it's running. I could open up File Explorer, things like that. If we click on the Start menu and we go here, we can click on Shutdown and actually use the operating systems to shut down our VM. Now that took just a moment for the virtual machine to stop, but now we can see the status in Azure actually shows as stopped. Now our virtual machine is not running, However, we do still have a public IP address assigned to that VM. The reason is not because I have a static IP address. In this case, I have a dynamic IP. Static IPs would stay assigned, but a dynamic IP would actually be released when you stop that VM from the Azure portal and deallocate it. Since I stopped the virtual machine by shutting down the operating system, I'm still paying for my virtual machine resources that are sitting out there reserved for my use on this VM. So while the VM is not running, I could click start to start it up again, or instead of shutting down the operating system, what we could do is go into the Azure portal or use the Azure CLI commands as well, or PowerShell, and click stop here and stop this virtual machine. This actually will go out and deallocate the VM running in Azure. So it'll release those VM resources for a virtual machine, CPU memory resources, and allow another Azure customer to use those, so then we will no longer be paying for those resources on our VM. Now that just took a moment to perform, and now we can see that instead of stopped, the status actually shows as deallocating. It's currently deallocating that virtual machine, and in a moment here, we will see it say deallocated. There, now we can see it stopped deallocated. So now instead of just stopped, where it's not running, it stopped deallocated, signifying that it's not just not running, but it's also not consuming Azure resources. And if we look again over here in the public IP address, we can see it shows the public IP address resource that's connected to the VM, but doesn't actually show an IP address. So now, because it's in a stopped deallocated state, we will no longer be paying for this virtual machine to be running. The only thing we'd be paying for would be the storage used by the data disks or the operating system disk of the VM. Now I showed you this with a Windows VM. The exact same thing applies to a Ubuntu VM. If I scroll down here, I can show you that I do have an Ubuntu 18.04 VM running right now. So Linux VM, the status is running. And if I click stop, it's gonna go ahead and deallocate that virtual machine in Azure as well. And the same thing applies to Linux VMs. Now we can see that our Linux VM is also stopped and deallocated. So now we're no longer paying for those resources as well. The same feature applies to both Windows and Linux VMs. And now you're prepared to properly stop and deallocate your Azure virtual machines that you no longer need running so you can save costs in the Azure cloud. I hope you found this useful. And if you like this video or want more videos like it, please click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.